Further pressure is mounting on Met Chief Dame Cressidic after it emerged bosses at Scotland Yard missed three crucial clues about killer cop Wayne Coulson's that could have seen him kicked out of the force before he murdered Sarah Everard. Last night it also emerged that police will be told to take offences such as indecent exposure and street harassment. What a home office source described to the Sunday Times as non-contact sexual offences. More seriously in the wake of the murder, the latest allegations are likely to heap pressure on Commissioner Dame Cressida to explain why Cousins was not kicked out of the force, and why he became an armed member of the elite parliamentary and diplomatic protection squad at the time of Miss Everard's killing. After Coulson's pleaded guilty to murder at the Old Bailey on Friday, the Independent Office for Police Conduct revealed that his former Force Can Police received a complaint from a male motorist that he allegedly drove around Dover naked in 2015, three years before he joined the MEP. Despite the past cases, Cousins was still a member of the elite parliamentary and diplomatic protection squad at the time of Miss Everard's killing, a role that entitled him to carry a firearm and a Metropolitan Police warrant card. Five members of Miss Everard's family were joined by Met Police Commissioner Dame Cressidic in court to watch as Coulson's head bow and shaking, entered his whispered plea by video link from Belmarsh Prison. Cousin's wife of 15 years Selena also told of her horror at the police officer's sickening crimes and her distress at failing to spot any warning signs in the months before Miss Everard's kidnap and murder. The IOPC has launched an investigation into alleged failures by Kent Police to investigate the indecent exposure allegation against Coulson's dating back to 2015. An IOPC probe is also ongoing into alleged failures by the MEP to investigate two allegations of indecent exposure linked to Coulson's in London in February this year, with two officers under investigation for possible breaches of professional standards.